Voila, swapping on demand happens here. This is the control panel Bill lines have supplied for us to use. Aha! All right. Okay, so I think we got a lot to look at here. So why don't we get started and right away the first thing to notice is this really nice map. And in fact, the thing I think really to draw attention to is you can see these sort of green smudges here. These appear to be places where you can walk through the wall. So for instance, let's see if I can get my bearings here. Here's Farley's. So this is the one we went through first uh, with the train track and we came out, must have been here came through, saw this door was locked, walked through this part of the wall, came out up here, walked around, went through this part of the wall, came out over here. So you start to get an idea that there are other, obviously ones we haven't gotten to yet, so more to explore, but for now, I think a picture of that is in order. Okay, let's take a look at this projector. Not really sure what that's about. There are these handles. I can turn it. Shine it on the board. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ha! Huh. A 15. Okay, there's a... Can adjust this so let's get it so I can see but there we are go like that like this that looks centered okay, let's take a picture of it like this obviously this is something I've yet to oh wait let's not stand in front of it okay take a picture of it like this Now you can also, there's a, another slide. The thing to notice is, I noticed it before when this is over here, that circle matches the circle on this map pretty much exactly. I'm wondering if this clue has something to do with something in this location. Now here, there's this wall. That's the tower. That's somewhere we haven't been to yet. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of that one too. All right. Okay, let's close that off. Something to think about for later. And we have a lot of stuff here on this desk, so let's start. I shall document the curious events that have transpired, boy this is hard to read, with myself, my family, friends, and co-workers. Hartnell was a peaceful mining town founded by my grandfather and nestled within the red rock of the desert in the Arizona Territory. Its 163 inhabitants heard a mighty explosion on the night of June 27, 1903. At some point during that night, our entire mining facility and a large circle of the land around it seemed to have been scooped up and carried off to a completely different place. And we discovered a small tree growing on the very, in the very center of the circle. Our central tree, that is so important to our lives here, was just a sapling back then. Species Description the Mofang. Through ambassador scenes, the Bofang were the first non-human species humans were introduced to, and their intelligence is impressive as evidenced by their advanced technology. And I guess that is what they look like. Okay. The Aria. 
After a certain level of maturity and health of the tree, a passage opened at its base. This passage allowed contact with two additional species. The first contact was with the aria. The first contact revealed the aria to be large beetle-like insects. It was Lorenc Toth who first made the journey through the heart to Kaptar and named both the New World and the inhabitants. The aria have three distinct variants. They have come to be referred to as the barnacle, beetle, and polyarch. In their barnacle stage, the aria are completely immobile. The aria stay in this egg-like development state seemingly indefinitely. The beetles are the eyes and ears, hands and feet, with only a minimal nervous system of their own. I assume that's a beetle. I wonder if that's one of those things we've been seeing flying about. The aria polyarchs are the intelligence and consciousness of the species, and that might be one of those polyarchs. Lovely. The villine. The final species to be discovered were the villine. The villine have been communicating with the aria for many years through ambassador seas, but became part of the larger community very shortly after aria. With a large and imposing frame and a form of communication based on complex, multi-voiced, low-frequency rumble, the initial introductions were intimidating. After several attempts, Amelia Vidal was able to begin some rudimentary communications and began visiting the villine in Moray. Unlike the other worlds, the villine sphere is scooped out of a villine resettlement group that was preparing to set off into space to find a new home world. This was their way of life, to put themselves into stasis and scatter themselves through the stars. They control every aspect of their technology with their vocalizations, but over the years they have created control panels based on their number system that allows other species to easy, easier access elements of their technology. And I suppose that's what they look like. Oh, that's it. Okay, next. Communication, talking with our neighbors. Mofang. The Mofang were the first non-humans we met. With at least some level of similar physical vocal generating abilities, they picked up human vo words quickly. The villine. The villine have presented a particular communication challenge. From what we can gather, they produce sounds using two large reed-like structures inside opposite sides of their heads. Therefore, communication with the villine has relied on technology. They have adapted consoles, which the villine fluently control with their vocalization, for use by other species. If you'd like to learn more about communicating with the villine, please contact Vito. Aria. None of the stages of the aria morphology have any vocal vocalization apparatus. After months of research, Farley began to have limited success with receiving some kind of simple messages that were coming from the polyarchs. It was apparent now that the polyarchs have been attempting to communicate the entire time. Both the polyarchs and the pawns have a simple organ that can sense human vo vocal frequency, enabling them to sense simple response from humans. And the last book, Seed Information, Ambassador Seeds. Ambassador Seeds were first documented about 150 Earth years ago. They occur about every 400 days if the trees remain healthy. Natural seed swaps occur between pairs of seeds that we now know, drop simultaneously from healthy trees in paired sphere. When each seed was touched by species in, in sphere, the swap occurred, sending an ambassador from each sphere to the paired sphere. Collector seeds. Everyone who arrives is familiar with the collector seeds. The bright light that we were all drawn to right before the event that brought us here is a collector seed. When an appropriate situation, unnatural threat or death, is found, the seed activates and swaps a smaller but varying size sphere from Earth. Mother seeds, postulated but not verified. The process that actually created the paired spheres was similar to other swaps but on a much grander scale. When matches were found, some process was triggered and that swapped large portions of the landscape between vastly different worlds. Alamo further noted that the trees located locations in the center of the sphere suggested that the trees grew from these mother seeds. 
because of the similarities, it's been conjectured that re-swapping the entire environmental spheres might be possible with a large-scale version of the Ambassador Seed machine. Oh, that's the end of the book. Okay. Right, we got a book here. Welcome to Hunrath. Kind of a sign in book. Note the years 2017, 1942 from Germany, 1988 from Mexico, 2042 from Portland. On my boat in a bad storm. Whoops, I meant to actually turn back the page, not. I was reading sort of the circumstances. I had just arrived and was on my way to supply a truck along the coast when I recalled being washed away and the seat appeared. The last thing I recall, large rumbling while I was hiding in the cellar of a vacant building. I ran towards a bright light. On my boat in a bad storm skiing on Mount Hood. I remember when we were abducted, it arrived, it was during a very bad thunderstorm. Danger might be part of the equation. What do we got here? Ooh, some very crazy-ish kind of map. Okay, I'm gonna take a picture of this. I don't know if it's useful or not, but let's see if we can finish off exploring around here. Okay, it's just a reward item. Tape recorder. Is anything going to play here? Okay, let's hang on. You have to. Okay, we have to rewind the tape first. Oh, this is old school. <laughs> With the rewind. Okay. Well, I feel like I should. Something. We we haven't heard from Shavar. So well. Oh. Um. So we assume that um, Sh Shavar. Well, that the, the attack is inevitable. It's we we just don't know when. So, um, Shavar and her family, um, and others she trusts, I guess. Well, they'll, they'll arrive when they can, uh, when they can, without um, giving, you know, like, covertly. <clears throat> um, so the plan will happen. In spite of our, um, oh my God, we, we're uh, locking down as much as possible here and moving everybody out. CW will stay here, and uh, I'll go to Murray at the last possible moment. Um, most are gone. There's just a few uh, left here now. The mayor got out early. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm recording this. It's, uh, it's like somehow we'll live on or something. Um, I guess this has meaning if someone listens, but <laughs> who? A new one? A new arriver. Oh, God, the kiosk out front. Oh, I don't need to update that message. All 
and that might be where we came in. There's an eject button. Oh! Oh, it just flipped over. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Come back. Let's play the other side. We all lost everything. Everything but our stories. And they shouldn't be forgotten. I was three. It was April okay, that's the uh, intro stuff. That we saw uh, we, right at the very beginning of the game. We should tell these stories because it did save us and there must be more. I was watching the sunrise. It was about 
right, whereabouts are we? Oh, well, there's uh, CW's area. Oh yeah, we haven't been here. There's the other. Come on, I'll take us somewhere useful. Oh no, it doesn't take us anywhere useful. There's where we came out from the train tracks. That's not useful. Ooh, I'd love to get over there. Oh, I know where we can go. Sorry. Okay, so that didn't... Not everywhere we go is going to be useful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Be careful. This way. So we'll run on back. Okay, so we did that. That was not of any use. That took us... Oh, I guess that's this one. So that's not very useful. But... Is there, is there anywhere else that we've taken that one, taken that one, taken that one, taken that one? I haven't gotten here yet. Here, here. These are all places we don't have access to. Wait a minute. This one we might have access to. If we go back out this way. Because there is a path here we've yet to take. Is that well, this seems to be the end of it? Again, we can clearly get over there. Okay. This hopefully will take us somewhere useful. Oh yes, I can see another section of wall we can get through. All right, let's do it. Where are we? I found that way. I can hear. Oh, 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 I see where we are. Okay, we can't get across there. We have to. Oh, but we can do that. Oh, gosh, we can put that back. Can we? Oh, maybe not. Okay, we'll look at that. Oh, yes, we can. We can put that back. Easy. Okay, easy peasy. Oh, and uh. This is going to get confusing to keep track of. Where are we now? <gasps> See, we're on top of that wall that separates it. There's Farley's yard there that separates sort of two halves the area that way. The reason why I'm a bit excited about this is because I think, if I go back to my photos, hopefully one that works. Oh, here's one. I think we're right around here. We've just followed this wall here to here, which I'm hoping has some connection to this. Let's go back. Fifteen. No, that's clearly not it. Okay, so fifteen clearly isn't it, but if we go to our photos here, and this definitely looks like the pattern in these things. I'm wondering if we enter in this pattern on this machine, if the number that gets put out here will be will be the code we need to get in. That's what I'm hoping. So there's a path down this way. Oh, well, we got something here.
Shall we push the big blue button? Of course we shall push the big blue button. Oh dear. I don't think we're in Hunrath anymore. An impossible, impassable door. Something from. Oh, they also have. See a red laser. Remember that red beam that keeps you from going through the wall? I think this is another. Another world. There we are. But I think this might be where I'm going to end this episode. I thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time.